Hi guys, today is the 21st of April and we have a new small patch out uh, for the Sims 4 game. So I'm gonna go and look at the new stuff that's been added with this patch. The first thing is the addition of the tragic clown parts to create a sim. So there's a hair, a makeup, a facial makeup, full body outfit and shoes. So I have a random male here that's wearing all the parts. Uh, and I'm just gonna put everything on a female for use because the things are for both male and female sims. So first will be the hair. It is a little bit glitchy. I'll show you how. So that's the hair and some of these swatches aren't in the correct order. For instance, the red swatch actually gives me the auburn color and the auburn swatch gives me the red as you can see. And the grey is a weird... Oh, so the grey works on women but for some reason on men the grey changes to this weird black with white streaks even though it's different than the salt and pepper black here so it's like a completely different so you can see it's different from the black and different from the black with gray hairs so that's a mistake uh, on top of the mistake with the swatches so yeah it's not working as intended gonna give you the pink one, the hot pink hair. Uh, okay then there's the makeup and it has three different swatches and an inbuilt nose. So that's one, that's second, that's third. I'm just gonna give you this one. And then there's a full body outfit of two swatches. Okay. So there, that's one of them and that's the other one. I'm gonna give you the yellow one since the male is wearing the white. And lastly there is a pair of shoes. If you have the digital um, edition of the game, whatever it's called, um, the one with extra content, um, the shoes are pretty much the same mesh as the clown shoes from the clown outfit from that. Uh, but they just have different swatches, so that's them, and there's two swatches, so these multicolored ones, and just solid red. But they are the same mesh as these, you can see these have a smiley on the front. But these are the shoes that come with this patch. So they these things are available for both men and women, from teenager to elder, life states, not for children, unfortunately, or fortunately, uh, they are a bit terrifying. And also, if you have, uh, if you do use mods, uh, you may have actually come across a mod that already unlocked this stuff. Um, it has existed for a couple months because I assume the creator um, just extracted the. The, the files from wherever people extract files from and release this because I personally had these clothes in my game for a while now and I've even um, shared a sim that had this hair but now these things have been added to the game properly so you can have them without any mods on top of dressing your sims as the tragic clown it actually exists as an NPC as well so you may remember this painting uh, from one of the earlier patches. You can click on it and click the view tragic clown. And we are now sad with a sad moodlet and I believe if you do it a couple times um, maybe it'll work for you for the first time it should summon the NPC so I'm gonna try again yes yeah, so we've got a pop-up saying this painting fills Alice with such a profound grief 
Uh, legend says that if you look hard enough, the grief will spill off the canvas and into the room. So... Oh, there we go. So... He's called Gunnar Castro, so I'm guessing this is just a random sim that the game just generated. He doesn't really have the name of one of my townies. So he does have the rank of Tragic Clown. What can we do here? Friendly introduction. Let's do funny introduction. So we are friends now. He does seem to have a different outfit in his everyday, so he's wearing a leather jacket there. Maybe this is his career outfit. So I guess they just act like normal townies. I don't really see any special abilities here, just the regular stuff like joke and scare. Ask for advice. So we can flirt with them. Do mischief, be mean. Make a club. Add to group, be funny, and be friendly. Right, let me try to flirt with them. I like your nose. Well, oh, do not appreciate my compliment. I saw two pluses though. I'm not sure if that worked. But yeah, that's a tragic clown. So you can see his hair, I'm guessing, is meant to be red, like on the painting. But because these swatches are currently in the incorrect order, when it comes to the red one anyway, so his hair is Auburn instead. I wonder if I can get two. Let me try again. He's playing with some apples and failing. Welcome, Wagon. No? Okay, it's just my neighbors. No, I don't think I'm gonna get another one, because I'm guessing this one's on my lot, so I was trying to get a female. Because that is a male. Okay then, I guess that's it for the tragic clown. We get a lot of minuses here. Let's take a picture together. Wait. Let's take a sad selfie. I know it's gonna be a happy one. Yay! Jasmine Holiday is no longer in the game now, so the Grow Fruit Challenge has ended, but you can still get all the Grow Fruit stuff in Debug and in Buy Mode, depending on what it is. So the bunny color is still there, and the eggs, and the Grow Fruit seeds, the object itself, and the fertilizer. They're still all available. There are some other uh, minor bug fixes, but the only other, in my opinion, um, fix that is worth mentioning in this video is the fact that they finally fixed the rug. Uh, rug order, so if you do overlay different rugs on top of each other, uh, before this patch there was a very big chance that they would get reshuffled, so the one you placed on the bottom would climb to the top and so on. So according to this patch uh, and the patch notes, they have finally tackled and fixed this problem. So if you are a builder, good news for you. If you've ever stacked rugs before or if you wanted to. Uh, I believe that's everything, so there's not really much in this patch at all, just a couple things. But I'd like to thank you for watching and I shall see you later.